what do you expect to see from Louis Money and Varun? So starting off right here, you mentioned last, because that's me, but we've also got our last match of the night, possibly unless Varun manages to reset the match. But getting into this, we already saw this in winner's finals. I'm just very excited. Let's get into this starting now. It's grand finals. Let's get going. That was, that was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, I really want to see if Varun has any of the momentum he has from that Razo set he just played where he just completely dismantled him. If he can bring it into this game because Louis Money shut him down heavily. Uh, outside of the one game he did drop to Varun, he just looked so dominant in this matchup. So I really want to see what he's going to bring in this grand final set. And surprisingly, we're starting it again on PS2 after, you know, Louis Money did play so well on this stage in their first set. Oh my goodness, there's that up That's smash with the leg. Going back to Winners Finals, we saw that so often. And that's the that's the thing that is so detrimental to Varun here, is the fact that Louis Money has been reading him so hard on the ledge get-ups every single time and connecting with things like that up smash or connecting with a grab back throw, just something that is so devastating uh, to Varun's both percents and stock, and it hurts so bad. Yeah, it's it's really rough. It's just Paolo has so many options to um, beat Weep Fit at the ledge, and that's really rough because that's usually where Weep Fit is just so strong in a majority of matchups, but Palutena is negating that very heavily here. It's also, it's not even just that Palutena beat Weep Fit at ledge. Wow, fantastic dash up F tilt with deep breathing active from Varun. But it's also, I'm noticing this specifically here, is that Varun isn't mixing up their options on ledge. Varun has been just getting up the same way every time, either a jump get up or a neutral get up. And that's why Louis Money's been punishing him extremely hard at the leg. Yeah, uh, this is very excellent, well said there from you last, because that's one of the things where Louis Money could just do a lot of damage. Having that excellent back air, having that up smash. Louis Money last time these two fought in winner's side, Louis Money had a lot of excellent call outs against Varun, specifically with up smash, with back air, and even having opportunities to force Varun to go for that low recovery to stay at the ledge with that excellent use of Palutena's, as you see right there, explosive flame. You put the dash, uh, dash grab in, and Louis Money whiffing a grab of his own. Nothing's going to come out of it in this neutral interaction. Grab F throw from Varun, going to give him the stage position to get deep breathing active once again. Looking for this back air on ledge. Definitely sure to close out the stock here, but Louis Money with the up air underneath the stage. And him with back air. That's going to be the second kill of the game, and Louis Money holding on to this advantage with an iron grip at the moment. Refuses to drop this lead for free. Varun has to put in so much work to get this stock. Very good discipline at the ledge, though. He's not letting Varun get these easily four tilts or these soccer ball setups at all. Oh, oh what, a, what an excellent trade from Louis Money. This man went off the stage, Varun followed him, and then it's Louis Money who gets the whole stage back to himself. This yeah. man traded everything and got everything from it. And he got almost a 60% string uh, in his favor, but there's the downside, I believe, to close out that stock, even without the deep breathing. Finally, it will. Underneath the little air too. Yeah, again, we saw that crouch being a really good tool for uh, Varun in these boxing situations just to get some really solid whip punishes. Uh, hopefully, you can continue to use that to you know take Louis Money by surprise. But he's just really struggling to get back to the stage. Oh my goodness, the complete aggression in that off stage. See how play. ridiculously deep off stage Louis Money went to connect with that. That was that was just that was nuts because if he missed that, he definitely could have been dead from something like a dare or a back air from Varun. That's yeah. just like that's fantastic awareness, not just from Louis Money to know that that opportunity was there, but also just to capitalize on it. Like knowing that that option is there and ready for the taking, that's nuts. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's very well said too, because let's not forget the fact that when we fit trainer does go for the spike on the hit on the ball, it can actually spike you as well. So you can you said it's kind of risky, but Louis Money was willing to put in the risk just to go ahead and take the stock. And the fact that he's kind of like swooped under <laughs> the ball hit initially and was able to actually hit Maroon for this one. Uh strides last, you guys have said this, but you kind of have to be somewhat of a character specialist you know, to be in this game because there's so many matchups and it's looking like this Wii Fit is not a good matchup against Palutena. 
See, uh, I see TK Breezy talking about uh, in chat how bad this matchup is, and we're definitely seeing it here. Like, even though Brood is arguably the best <laughs> refit out there, Louis Money's just making this look undoable at the oh, moment. Man. Oh, man. Look at this okay. 69 combo, dude. He's got the right <laughs> hair strings as well. If this was a pound, that might have been a dead Wii Fit to start off the game. Wii <laughs> Money, dude. He just has very little respect for the options of Wii Fit. I, as he should. Look how much tools he has to build this character in the Palutena. It just feels like watching this. Every single one of Palu's options beats Varun. It, yeah. it doesn't matter, like, it, if there's a trade situation, Palu's coming out on top. So Varun is relying on big reads or, uh, like, a big setup to get in. And on the very few occasions, he is able to capitalize on stock, but those are few and far between, and it seems like for most of it, Louis Money's just running the show. Yeah. Yeah. The, the weight on the spot dodge, too, on that back throw from Louis Money, like, he's not just, you no know, mindlessly running in. He's just reading Varun really well on top of just having the character matchup advantage too. Yeah, and he has enough pressure on Varun that you uh, you saw that him go for the back throw. I know we're talking a lot about it here, but he had Varun so scared. Varun still held shield, even and giving Louis money enough time to actually go for that rollback back throw and then just take away the stock from there. And that just goes to show how much Louis money is controlling the place of this matchup. He has the stock lead. I do like that setup there specifically with the explosive flame because if Varun did go a little bit of aggressive, if he tried to hold shield or try to be a little bit more aggressive, he had to face that explosive flame. And the biggest thing that I'm seeing here is Louis Money is like not just awareness, but his uh, his defensive play balanced with his uh, offensive play is absolutely fantastic. So in the advantage state, Louis Money pops off and he does a ton of damage. Yeah. And then as soon as Varun gets something going, like deep breathing is active or something else in the neutral, Louis Money is fantastic at just running away and getting that side B or getting that auto reticle something to interrupt uh, Varun's flow. Like we talked a lot about yeah. Flo and Razor's matches and Louis Money just seems to be like a log in the middle of the river that stops it from flowing no matter what you try and get going. Yeah, that's Sad. just so well said. It's exactly what we're seeing here in uh, in this match right now. But finally, there's a down tilt. He, he gets, he's getting these stocks, but man, look how much sort of sin he has to take just to take one stock from Louis Money. And there's another classic back throw at the ledge. Yeah, especially on town, those are going to kill ridiculously early, and Louis Money seems to be setting himself up for this. Whoa! 2-0 advantage in the, uh, in the set is definitely possible at the moment. I thought oh another character was going to come oh out. Man, oh my no god, way. he read that. <laughs> Louis Money is moving way too well right now. So good. This is, just, this is just a struggle for Varun. It's it's both uh, a factor of the matchup being very difficult and Luma playing it so well. Oh, Varun the tech chase! Around. What a tech chase on the on the platform too. Louis Money picking up Palu in this Wi-Fi season, man, has definitely been paying its dividends because he's just taking it all the way across the entire town and city, if you will and definitely putting Varun at such a oh. tough spot there, but Varun catching that lucky break there, able to get the stock as he sees Louis Money off the stage. He's got 103, man. If it's going to be anyone's game to lose, it might be Louis Money's because Varun is now putting in some aggression. Yeah, about it. Exactly how he lost the game, uh, that, that one game that he dropped to Varun in winner's final, was yeah. Varun came from all the way behind and then did a ridiculous 90% combo with deep breathing to finish it off with a back air at the ledge. Yeah, and make no mistake, just because you don't see this character so often in Grand Finals, it's this character is ridiculous, but you can see how much the matchup Ooh. is such a difficult T for the character as the up smash will be an excellent call from Louis Money, giving him the 2-0 lead. I had no idea up smash also hits below the ledge. Like, what? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I have seen, I have seen Larry. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I've seen Larry die of, like, 30% because Jump City called him up for it with an up smash. Up smash is definitely an excellent call out to from Louis Money because we've seen how he's able to take games with it, but also stop Varun from going for those high recoveries as well. Louis Money just wants to, I know you can't really call it like go home because uh, everyone's in their house right now. It's quarantine Wi-Fi tourneys. But Louis Money wants to do that thing that you do after a Wi-Fi tourney where you get up from your desk and go over to your bed. He's, he, he looks like he wants this to be over, and he's definitely playing like it. Just absolutely shutting Varun down in every way imaginable. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself last. Potentially the last game of the night, guys, ladies and gentlemen, is 2-0. Louis Money versus Varun back to town in City. 
Is this Maroon's final opportunity? Will he be stopped here? Or will we finally get another win like he did in Winner's Finals? Let's find out here, because there's definitely some offstage play happening already. Yeah, yeah he, he was able to get that uh, really good header spike on Louis Money's final stock in the one game that he won. So if he can force that offstage play a little bit more, he might be able to get some earlier stocks that way. But even just setting up that situation has been proving to be very, very difficult for him. But this is a good start for him. Once again, one, the one thing I want to, like, like last mentioned earlier, Louis Money has such a great defense, and you see how, how offensive he is when he comes back on the stage. You throw up that explosive flame, you throw out that auto reticle. Why? Because you want Varun to hold the shield, giving you enough time to come back on the stage and turn things around like we see here from Louis Money, almost catching him in that platform. If you saw that didn't kill, to be honest. It looks like it should have. Oh, yeah. up there? Not so, what is this? Money had some insane DI, I'll be honest. Like, the, the fantastic DI is one thing, but living ridiculously long is another, even as a character that's not super heavy like Palu. Varun, though, for the first time, uh, we mentioned this during the breaks, so I don't think chat heard us, but the one game that Varun took during Winner's Finals was when he took the first stock. Right here, we're in a situation where Varun has taken a very, very early and very, very strong lead. So this definitely could be his game to win to put himself at least on the board in this grand finals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He needs the stock advantage just to force Louis Money to take more risks and approach in some more bad spots. That's why he's able to get these huge combos to connect more consistently now. And Ooh. that very into the F tilt, exactly what you want. Even bigger lead here for Varun. Oh my goodness, let me just get this quick 46% off of three moves. Yeah, Varun's definitely cooking in this game. Yeah, Honestly. stock advantage is such a big thing to have in the losing matchup because it oh gives you my. so much to work with here. And you can tell that Varun has a lot of the downloads. Varun's working on a three stock right now. Varun's definitely in the kitchen cooking after those two games lost. Not going to be a three stock. We might have cursed it. Uh, and Louis Money can't uh, teabagging his way across the stage. <laughs> you know, these two play each other so often. I'm sure it's just it's friendly back and forth. Yeah, I'm sure NorCal is happy with no matter who wins this right now. To have yeah, such a NorCal would be happy, happy, but I'm sure that both of these dudes want to take home that 2K prize. Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Not only the 2K prize, but the fact that you are winning a Red Bull sponsored event. That's big things to have on your name there. All right, there's okay. the crowd coming out again. I love to see it from Varum. It's going to make Lee a little bit wary about the aerials that he chooses to approach with. Oh. Nice ledge pressure again, sneaking in the back air. Oh my goodness. He's, he's swinging those down airs now. He has the safety of the, the ball to make the box a little bit safer. Oh. Play Louis Money doing the thing that Louis Money has been doing all tournament, living to 161%, still holding on to this last stock. But what Varun. What an excellent call out. Yeah, what an excellent call out on the jump away. Varun going to hop in, get that up there, and take the first game of this series. Yep. And you mentioned it last so well. The last time we saw Varun win a specific game against Louis Money in Winners Finals was when he took the first stock. And we talked about how having the first stock is so crucial in a losing match because it gives you just that little bit of extra space to breathe. But it was a lot on Varun just having great opportunities to call out Louis Money like we saw in the last specific stock where he was just called him out for jumping, but he has the speed to do it with refit training because the character is actually pretty fast. Yeah, and that's, again, we mentioned it, like, this is uh, something that's very crucial to do in a losing matchup, is take the first stock. Because once you take the first stock, camping is open, running away is open, uh, playing for playing just uh, hit and run tactics is open to you then. And Varun just doesn't, uh, like, have that opportunity when Louie Money is up in stocks. So, here on Louie Money's final, uh, possibly final counter pick of the night, we are going to be going to PS2 where this all started off. Let's see if Varun can keep this momentum going or if Louie Money's just going to get back in his groove. Yeah, very surprised that Varun let Louis Money um, come back to this stage. I know a lot of people are comfortable on this stage in general, but with how many games Louis Money has won here, uh, I just wouldn't give him the option. But, so Varun here, hopefully he can uh, make something happen like a, a repeat of how the first two games went though with Varun just getting absolutely stuck on the ledge not able to get past Louie Money getting 88% already completely almost completely sorry unanswered 34 starting off on Louie Money's side but this deep breathing could make all the difference yeah 
You can see, well, the one thing I'm enjoying from Louis Money here specifically at the ledge, he'll go for things like down tilt, hold the shield as you can see him here. He's looking for those options. Down tilt has a lot of hitbox, but while he gets the read on Varun, because you know Varun wants to have the opportunity to get away from that danger zone that he was at the ledge, and that's a really good call from Louis Money. He kind of forced it out. You could see he had those double down tilts that he had up against Varun, and then he thought he had the opportunity to come up, come around when he actually didn't. Yeah, that was such a heavy up smash read. Like, that's kind of feel good for your confidence too when you get a huge punch. Luis has gotten this set. He keeps doing it. And it keeps working. Oh! Back here the force smash still Ooh. really good. Oh, oh and the knife from so far away! That angle was so good. For this Nair to hop back in, but Sun Salutation is going to do a solid chunk of damage. Yeah, unfortunately, he wasn't able to follow up after hitting that, but still, yeah, good percent, like you said. A little bit of stage control here, too, but just thrown off stage. Back there, not going to do anything. Looking for this off stage interaction. Loom Money, though, oh. electric to just hold on to ledge control instead. Whiffing the grab and getting hit by the soccer ball instead. Going to do quite a bit. Getting the dash attack back in and trying to capitalize on the kill. Oh, there's the down tilt, but he DIs out, so he can't get a down tilt back here. Yeah, still good for Oh my god, he barely avoided that up till it would have killed if he ran into it. Here's the deep breathing. Oh, but the snipe from so far away, man. Talk about it, dude. Every time Louis Money... Yeah, every time he has to make that recovery below the ledge, or below the stage, I'm sorry. And he knows, you know what, the best defense is a good offense. And I like how Last pointed out, he'll throw that explosive flame. He'll throw that all radical for an excellent reason, and it gave Louis Money the stock. That was just so uh, unexpected there. And hey. just now hitting 150%, that means stage two rage is active. Louis Money could do something big here, at least uh, building up some nice percent before going on to the next stock. 36% looking for something off stage. Varun catching the up air to get back safely. Oh, oh, another oh, one. Finally, yeah, another up air capitalizing, taking Louis Money's stock out at over 150%. This is definitely Varun's game to lose and Varun's tournament to lose. He needs to play extremely carefully against Louis Money here. Yeah, he's not out of it just yet, so I think he's still playing very solidly here. Okay. Oh, that's a really unfortunate trade for Varun right now. Oh, no air dodge. Yeah. Didn't give it any money. Good to win here with the, uh, with the header from Varun to avoid that F smash. Oh. Not going to get anything off of that whiff grab. Call out. He saw Louis Money jump out oh. of shield. You know how often you would see. Cancel the deep breathing. Oh, that was such a good movement from Varun. Okay. A little bit deep up here. If you can get a good hit, it might be great. What a call out. What a call out. What a call out. Oh, oh man. Yeah, what a call. And like we mentioned, like I mentioned before winners finals, I looked up these two set count. And before this tournament, they were 33 and 6 in Louis Money's favor. Like this is losing to Louis Money is not something that Varun is super unfamiliar with. Uh, and now that set count is 35 to 6. Wow. Tell him last, tell him last, because that set count just went up. But that was an excellent call coming up from Louis Money at that last second. It's adaptation too as well. You could see that he saw the typical option that Varun will go for is for the soccer ball. And it's a good time to call it out. 